Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and we're in Amblois, France and that house you see behind me no, sadly, that's not my house. That's actually uh, Leonardo da Vinci lived there the last three years of his life. That's Claude Doucet. Really cool place to check out if you're in the Loire Valley. Come to Amboise, see the chateau, see this house, all kinds of great stuff. But the thing we're going to talk about today is what should you do the night before you leave? Because you know, the day you're going to leave on traveling, it's crazy. Like, do I have everything? Is everything set up? What am I going to do? When do we need to get to the airport? All this stuff. It gets really frustrating. So what I thought we'd do is, it's not the day you travel, it's the night before. You're back from more Work, you, you'd got you're done with your stuff hey what can we do to make life easier for us for when we travel and for when we come back so the first thing you should do the night before you travel if you haven't already is one go to usps.com and hold your mail or wherever you do live have your mail held in the u.s they will hold your mail up to a month for free and they deliver at the end all you have to do is put in your address your email a phone number and the date you're gonna you want the mail to stop and when you want to deliver very easy also with that hold make sure if you still are one of those people that gets a newspaper you have that newspaper held contact your carrier tell them do not deliver for a while okay until you tell them to because that's one of the quickest ways that thieves can see that our robbers can see that nobody's home it's not one one or two newspapers okay people don't don't maybe they didn't get it but when there's like three or four they know nobody's in that house it's a big rob me sign so that's the first thing you make sure you got to have done okay now the second thing you want to do is make sure you let a neighbor that you actually like and likes you know that you're not going to be around so they can be looking at the house and what i recommend is give them a key just in case something happens i know we were traveling last year and we had really 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 cold weather and where we live and actually the pipes in our bathroom froze so there was a leak and if we wouldn't have given our friend a key to check the house to make sure everything's okay we would have come home three weeks later with god knows what would have been left of our bathroom and our house so make sure you have somebody that can go and check out your house while you're gone so make sure you tell your neighbor hey Jeff I'm gonna be gone here's my key can you check on the house occasionally in case anything's going on okay so that's the second thing now the third thing is if you got the time it may sound silly but get a manicure and especially a pedicure even if you're a guy when your feet and you're gonna be on your feet traveling and walking and seeing all these sites and hiking up to chateaus and stuff like that your feet are going to be in a lot of pain and if you've got you know your toenails and your, your heels and stuff like that aren't in the best shape or your hands it will really hurt okay so make sure get that mani pedi or just get the pedi before you go because it will make the traveling a lot easier and if you don't have the time for that at least cut your fingernails and cut your toenails because that's one of the things the tsa likes to confiscate are your clippers so get that done so you don't have to take it with you or if you can though get that pedicure to really make it a lot easier when you are doing all that walking now the fourth thing you want to do is make sure you set the timers for your lights in your house because you're going to be gone you want to make sure the timers are coming on and going off and things like that so it looks like somebody's at your house when you're gone because what happens is if you don't have any lights on it's dark for a week hey something's going on but if you have the lights left on the entire time wow that bathroom light's been on for four days something's going on there so make sure you're testing your timers and make sure you're kind of having them going off and on on times you would your downstairs light you know if you watch tv till 10 have it go off at 10.05 and have your light up in your bedroom go on at 9.45 so it kind of corresponds to those things but check those things out because if you're trying to figure out how to put together one of those timers at eight o'clock in the morning right you're trying to rush out the door it's not going to work your light's going to go off at three in the morning and go off at 5 and p.m and stuff like that you don't want that okay so that's the next thing you should do now the fifth thing you should do is take all your garbage and throw it away now i know this sounds silly but the thing is collect the garbage from the bathrooms collect the garbage from the kitchen the garbage from the you know the the fridge and all these kind of things and collect it together maybe double bag it and put it in your trash okay now the thing is you may say well i don't want to leave it in the trash for the entire time away well that's why you have that friend that's watching your house you ask them hey jeff could you by chance put my garbage out on monday morning and bring it back in monday night thanks man you're always going to get Jeff, your neighbor, your buddy. Always get them a gift because they're helping you out, okay? Not just a postcard, but they get like a real gift, okay? And the thing is, have them take that out because you know what? I've come home, this is before Jocelyn, when I used to travel on my own and I wouldn't get everything cleaned up beforehand and the garbage would stink. There's one, I dated this German girl for a time and we left and we didn't do the dishes in the sink and there was literally, she just put water in the sink. I'm like, I don't know if that's a good idea. She's like, it's fine. We went to North Cyprus, we come back. There's like mold grown over the top of the water. I mean, I'm gonna, I wanna throw up thinking about it. Look, 
get the garbage, get the dishes all cleaned up before you go, because you don't want to try to get two week old mac and cheese off that plate, you might as well throw it away. So help yourself out with that, get the garbage out, have someone take the garbage out and bring it back in while you're away. Now the sixth thing you want to do is clean the house. I know this sounds silly, but one of the greatest feelings when you come home is, have, is coming home to a clean home, right? Now imagine if you spent two weeks of traveling, you've got your 12 hour flight back, you always you got delayed, you got to drive home, and you come home to a messy house, you're like, oh, this sucks. Clean your house before you go. It makes it a lot better when you come back. It makes it more relaxed for you because the thing is you're gonna have two weeks of laundry you're gonna be washing. Now, if you already have another two weeks of laundry waiting to be washed, uh-oh, that first day back at work, um, you're wearing your suit from 1975. You don't wanna do that, okay? So, so just make sure you do clean up before you leave. Even if it's not perfect, just something does make it a lot easier. Going along with that is number seven, is if you've got time, wash your sheets. Now, yes, you're gonna wear your sheets, that, use your sheets that last night, but wash another pair of sheets so when you leave, you can make, you know, remake your bed when you leave, so when you come home, you have fresh sheets. I mean, think about it. who doesn't love fresh sheet day, okay? New sheets, oh, this is so nice. Wash them, and then when you make the bed the day you leave, you put those new sheets on, so when you come back from sleeping in crack beds, you know, like in Europe or, or, or cots in, in, in Brazil when I was there or on the floor at your buddy's place or at an Airbnb, you come back to your bed nice and clean with a nice new set of sheets. Oh man, you can't beat that, can you? So that's one of the things I recommend. Jocelyn always does that and believe me, I'm not the biggest stickler for things, but that's one of those things you're like, man, that is actually a really cool idea. It does make it a lot better. So get those clean sheets on there before you go. Now, the eighth thing to do is before the night before you leave, make sure you have already called your credit card companies and your banks to let them know you're gonna be traveling. Now, some credit card companies don't care, some do, but let them know you're gonna be gone so your credit card does work when you're gonna travel. If you're gonna go abroad, if you're staying in your own country, it's not really a big issue. Um, also, if you are gonna be traveling abroad, make sure you've already already purchased that international data package because some places require you to do it before you go otherwise you could have a horrible horrible really high bill from your travels abroad so that eighth thing is make sure you get those things done and the ninth thing I recommend you do the night before you travel is have your passport wallet and clothes for the next day already out why? Because you don't want to be trying to figure out what am I going to wear that day, what am I going to wear that day. Have your travel clothes ready, have your wallet and passports and tickets all together so you know, look, worst thing's worse, I forget my bags, I forget everything, I don't forget my wallet, my passport, my tickets, boom, they're right there with me. I can you know, put my clothes on, it's right there, and I'm ready to go. Because you don't want to be thinking about, hmm, what should I wear today? No, have it all ready, it makes life so much easier that next morning so you can get up and go. Because some days, we would, sometimes we have to leave at four in the morning to catch a plane, and sometimes it's three in the afternoon. So sometimes you have time, sometimes you don't have time, but the night before, you always have time. So, have a great time traveling. I hope that helps you get ready for that big trip tomorrow. Uh, if you want to learn more, what to take on a trip and what not to take on a trip, what to buy when you go traveling and what not to buy when you go traveling, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And honestly, if you want to come here to Amboise in the Loire Valley in France, you should come. It's fantastic. While we're visiting the chateaus here, unbelievable. Anyway, if you want to learn about that, we have videos on that too, all on our website at waltersworld.com. Anyway, I'll say au revoir and have a great trip. Bon route if you're driving and bon voyage if you're traveling even farther afield. Have a great time and bye from France. Adieu.